Alright, hey guys, it's me, it's TK. Um, I actually got a camcorder. I came home and my husband got me a camcorder. So, <gasps> this is my first video with a camcorder. The lighting, I guess, is okay. I'm not sure. Can y'all tell me? Or something? Let me know how the lighting is. Um, I'm actually looking at the screen and not the not the actual lens so if i look weird then that's why but okay so this is just a i guess a random video um some people like sent me um some questions in my inbox and i remember them off hit off hit off hand i didn't uh write them down so i'm just gonna randomly answer them i guess um so here we go first question was what's my favorite color my favorite color is pink um colors that look Oh, yeah, my favorite color is pink, any kind of shade, any shade of pink, which is weird, um, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, what colors look good on my skin tone? Um, turquoise, uh, like that Tiffany blue color, Tiffany blue and like a real, like a vibrant pink, not like a, not as bright as like a fuchsia, but a little lighter than that. Um, what colors my hair is actually dark brown. Um, I dye it from time to time. At one point it was like three shades of brown which was really pretty. Like the top was like a really light brown and the middle was a different color and then the brown but it blended in very well so it was um, really pretty. Another one was how long have I been natural? Um, I cut all of my hair off back in 2003 and I've been natural ever since. I went through a stage where I was uh, getting my hair twisted with a um, like a little comb so I had like a little curly Q twist I guess I don't I guess that's what it's called and then after that then I got my hair two strand twist and two strand twist is where they get two pieces of your hair and they um, wrap them around each other and I wore that for the longest time um, the thing that I do want to say about going natural I randomly just woke up one day and I was like okay it's time for me to cut this relaxed hair off so what I did was I went to my beautician and I was like, okay, it's time for the chop. And she was like, no, you have so much hair. And I was like, it's time for the chop. Like, I'm tired of coming in here giving you all my money so you can straighten my hair when I want it to be natural anyway. So she cut all my hair off. She was so mad at me. Gosh, she was so mad at me. But she cut all my hair off. It was about a centimeter long, I think. Maybe like that, that long. That's about a centimeter, right? Um... So I went, um, at first when I got home, I didn't think I was going to be comfortable. Like I didn't think I was going to be comfortable with the cut because when I turned around in the mirror, I was like, oh my God, I don't have any hair. And you know, being a female, you're just like, you know, being a female, you have hair, you have, you know, certain things about you. And, and now I didn't have hair. So I had to kind of overcome the whole, um, people are going to look at me crazy because I don't have hair. So eventually I was just like, regardless, I'm beautiful um, and I was confident. I just kind of walked with this, you know, this kind of swag, I guess, about me and, and I was comfortable. I went into work and people were like, oh my God, why did you cut your hair? Because, you know, and um, I've been natural ever since then. Like I said, I've dyed my hair before. Um, Right now, I kind of go in between straightening it and wearing it uh, in its natural state. Straightening it to me is very costly because my beautician is, she's at the bomb and she gets my hair like bone straight, but it's just like, do you want to pay that every two weeks, you know, or every three weeks? So, but I do want to ask, um, this is a question for you all. If you all know a flat iron that I can purchase um, that will get my hair like extremely straight like I have a cheat iron but my cheat iron to me doesn't do the job like it doesn't get my hair straight it doesn't get hot enough my hair is so thick to where I actually do need like something with like a lot of heat so if you know of a flat iron that um that I can purchase I heard of a flat iron called her like H-E-R um and it's supposed to be like sold at a kiosk sometimes or somewhere in the mall but I haven't seen it there's two there's there's a kiosk that I stopped at but it wasn't um her it was something else but anyway okay so that was that um another question was um 
Oh, how long have I been into makeup? I actually started wearing makeup um, like hardcore after my wedding. My uh, makeup artist that did my engagement pictures and my wedding, uh, wedding, my makeup for my engagement pictures, my wedding, and my bridal shower. She was awesome. Like she covered up my my blemishes. She like taught me um, like the correct way how to do my eyebrows and things like that. So she is awesome. Um, her name is Tanya Ro Roberson and um, she used to be a MAC makeup artist and she is now a freelancer. So if you're ever looking for a makeup artist and you're in the Texas region, I think she also travels too because I think she was doing like makeup in New York and stuff. But um, she is, she's awesome. She is really, 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 really awesome. Um, another question was, what was my favorite, um, who's my favorite um, makeup company, I guess, like, what do I have most of? I have more MAC things than anything. I do have the, um, Cine Cosmetic Palette that I did a review on, and if you don't know what that is, or if you have never purchased anything from Cine, um, Cine Cosmetics has this kind of like a palette, it has all the colors in it, it's not as pigmented are not as vibrant as so I have the most in my makeup kit I have more MAC things than anything I do have some other things like e.l.f. and Urban Decay and NYX but the most most of it is is MAC another thing is how oh why did I why did I want to begin doing YouTube videos. Actually, I always watched YouTube and I was like, well, you know what? Since I'm starting out and I have these goals that I want to, um, goals that I want to achieve or, I mean, and I have this found, this newfound love for like makeup and clothes and stuff. Um, why not? You know, why not? So now I have a channel. So yeah. Those are some random questions. It wasn't a lot. It was just some random questions about me. So, thank you for listening. If you have any other questions that you would like for me to answer, please let me know. Um, and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you have any requests, um, please feel free to send them to my inbox. Also, um, don't be silly and ask me like random questions that you know I'm not going to answer. Okay, so thank you for watching my random thoughts, random questions about me, and I will talk to you later. Oh, stay tuned. I do have another, um, I have a haul that's next. Alright, thank you. Bye.